Hello everyone, my name is Li Fu Wang, and today we're going to learn how do we use 2D, uh, use Abacus CAE tools to do 2D trust analysis. Here's the problem statement. We have a trust like this, and the size for it is given, five feet, 10 feet, and the cross section for the trust is one inch square. <clears throat> and we have a load applied at node eight with the angle of 20 degrees. So if you write the load in a coordinate, rectangular coordinate form is given like that. And if you look at node one and node two, because they're all pinned so they, there won't be any deformation between the member one, two. So other than member one, two, all the element is given. For example, element one is connecting node one and node three. So there are in total 12 elements here. Today we are going to learn how to write the input file for Abacus to apply this one. So first, in your folder, create a new text file, call it um, input file. And now we can start writing the input file. The first thing is we define the material. So double star means uh, this is just a comment. It won't be run in app. It won't be run by Abacus. So define material and let's name it aluminum because all the material, all the members is made by from aluminum. And aluminum, we use elastic constant for that, which the Young's modulus is 110E6 and the Poisson ratio is 0.3. And now we can define the node. So in total, we have eight nodes. The first node, the coordinate should be zero, zero. Second node, the coordinate should be five feet, which is 60 inches zero. So we are going to use inches and pumps for all the members. The third node is uh, zero sixty. Fourth one is uh, sixty sixty. The fifth node is uh, zero. 120. Seventh one is 60, uh, 180. And the last one, we have uh, 180 and uh, 120. That's all the node you have. Now you have the, you need to define the element. And the element type we're going to use here is the two degree, a uh, 2D truss element. So T2D2. And let's see here. Let's call this element sets as uh, alum aluminum bar. 
So the first element is connecting node one and node three. Second element connecting node one and node four. Node two and node four. Four and six. Eight is five and six. Nine is five and seven. Ten is six and seven. Eleven is six and eight. Twelve will be seven and eight. One trick that you can check whether your connectivity is correct is the first node, it always have a smaller node, node number than the second one. So now we can define the solid section. So our solid section is going to be a truss section with the cross-section area of one inch square. So define a solid section. And for the element sets of aluminum bar. And the material for that is aluminum, which we already defined here. And aluminum bar is here. And the, this, you are going to enter the cross-section area, which is one inch square. And then we can define the boundary condition. So say boundary. And the boundary condition, we know that the first node and the second node is pinged. So, first node ping second node ping you cannot enter more than one node here unless you create a node set and now we can start analysis so create a step which is static And we can leave everything default, so we don't need to enter uh, too many things here. We only need uh, one step, and total analysis time is one. And we create a load in the step. The load is going to be this one. So it's a concentrated load. The command for concentrated load is C load. And it's applied to, so for C load is going to be a node number. And then is degree of freedom. And then the magnitude. So here it should be apply to node eight and the uh, degrees of freedom one means horizontal degrees of freedom and it should be 20 uh 52.1 again apply at node eight degrees of freedom is two and the value for that is minus 56.38.1 and then we need to create output, a field output. And we only need a nodal output of U, which is the displacement. And we create element output. So we include the direction 
this command means the stress is going to follow the member's direction from node one to node two. So here we just want the S11, which is the uh, normal stress inside the bar, inside the trust element. So now we can end the step. After finishing this, creating this uh, input file, close it, and then change the uh, extension to INP file. Now you can open your abacus. In the file, set the working directory to the directory you want. We can directly create job and then choose input file here, call it menu, input. Select the input file we just created and the job will be created. Do the data check first to make sure that your input file is correct. So it says, uh, so first it has two arrows here. One is the node seven, the coordinate value is has some problem. The other is S11 is not uh, an output, it's not a valid uh, output here. So we go back to the input file. Uh, so first let's check uh, node seven, we forgot this comma here and S11 because S11 is, well, we just use S, S include all the valid stress that can be output. So if you don't know what to choose, just enter S here. So we can now save it and do the data check again. Following the arrow information, you it's very easy to fix your input file. <clears throat> so now the input file is checked. We click this continue. And then we are going. It will going to be analyzed. Uh, it will going to be submitted for calculation, and it's done pretty fast. Now we can check the result. This is the final result. You can see that it has all the output, and we use S one one here, which is what we need to check the elements inside, uh, you can use this query and then we can do the probe value and choose element here. For example, I want to see the stress inside this element. Click it, it's uh, 13,000 PSI, uh, 13,000 PSI. And this one is an active, that means it's compression and it's 21,000 PSI. <clears throat> this is how you do uh, trust analysis using Abacus by the input file. Now we, we are going to try another way to do it is by the CAE command. So inside this Abacus, software, how do we create a model and to do it. So first create a new job. Uh, and let's call it uh, 
model. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and first we create the part and this should be the trust 2D planner deformable wire and the proximal size as we have here the maximum will be 15 feet by 15 feet so it's uh, 180 by 180 and here we will enter double the size it will be 360 now we create a node first the first one is zero zero. Second one is, uh, we can put this side by side. So, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so Second one will be uh, 60, zero. Third one is 60, zero, 60. Fourth one is 60, 60. Zero, 120. 60, 120. 60, 180, 180, 120. This is all the nodes you have. Now we use one to connect them. So the first element connecting one and three. Notice that one and two, you don't need to connect this two because, because it's not useful. It won't be formed due to the boundary condition. Now we can just connect all of them. And this one and this one. So in total, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve element. Now go to a property, create aluminum, elastic. I, Young's modulus should be 10E6, Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Create a section, select beam section here and select the truss. Create aluminum truss. And cross section area is one inches square. Now we assign the section to all the elements. We don't need to create set for that. And if you see everything is in the color of green, then it means all the property is assigned successfully. Create assembly for analysis and choose independent here. This blue one is the instant that we're going to apply load or do analysis on. Create step. This is the C loading, concentrated loading. Choose static, leave, er leave everything default. In your field output, what you only need is the displacement U and the stress. And now we apply boundary conditions and the load. Create a load, see concentrated loading. 
in the loading step and uh, well we are going to apply load in this at this point well definitely you can directly select uh, enter the value we have here enter the value we have here but let's do it in another way let's create a data uh, a data coordinate system first so select the point of origin let's select this one and select a point to be on the x-axis uh, this may be a little bit hard to create so we can do it in this way create a data axis by long click and then go to the end create a data axis by rotating from the line so we select this line and then select this point for rotation and the angle of rotation it should rotate 90 degrees plus 20 degree so we do 110 degrees this is the line that you're going to apply you're going to apply the uh, load to and we select this one uh, create a data coordinate system by two line so let's call it just call it that um that um uh, coordinate system rectangular and first it asks you to select the x-axis which select the line we just created and then select any line then your data coordinate system is like this now you can go back and apply the load c loading concentrated and now select the points to apply the loading instead of the global coordinate system now we can select our local coordinate system and entering values which is 6,000 pounds so this will be 6,000 and zero here you can see the arrow is pointing to the positive x direction now create the boundary condition boundary condition should be in the initials before the step use an under slash for it and choose uh, choose the first one choose this two points to apply the boundary condition which is pinged Now we need to do the mesh. First, we do element type here. Select. So the element we are going to use is trust element. And you should see that this is T2D2 element. And then uh, we can apply the seed. The seed basically means how large you want your element as. For example, if you put one here, you can see, uh, let's put a lar larger one. You can see that each line is split into six nodes. And that's not what we want. For our, uh, for our original problem, we just want the entire bar as one element. It's not combined of several elements. So, the way we do it is we enter a very large number for that and by entering a very large number it will automatically calculate the calculate the size all the node will be considered as the like all the turning points will be considered as a node and then anything that is smaller than this will not be separated for example this length is smaller than this number so it won't be separated to several nodes 
Now you can see all the nodes is at the turning points, which is what we want. Now we can do the mesh. And after the mesh, we can create the job now. Uh, call it, let's call it uh, uh, model. model analysis so we can submit So this one went through smoothly. Check the result. It should be similar to the previous result. So we can compare this two. Create a new window, put this two side by side. The first one, we choose the manual input. Second one is the model input. And both of them we use S11. You can see the values are exactly the same and the distributions are exactly the same. And this one can show, can give you, this analysis can give you whether the stress inside your members is intention or compression and what's the value for that. You can use probe value to get it. And that's all for today's video. Hope that you can learn something from today's video.